Rejection is a tough pill to swallow, especially when you were building something you thought had real potential. It's natural to feel hurt and even take it personally. But what if there was a way to turn this painful moment into a powerful opportunity for growth? Stoicism offers a perspective that can help you respond with dignity and strength. Rather than reacting impulsively or letting the rejection define you, you can use this moment to show grace and maturity. Sometimes, keeping quiet is the best course of action, while in other situations, a thoughtful response might open new doors, like making a lasting impression or even creating new opportunities. In this video, we'll dive into how you can apply Stoic principles to handle rejection from women, transforming a setback into a chance to demonstrate your inner strength and wisdom. If these strategies resonate with you, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more Stoic insights, and share this video with those who could use a boost in handling rejection gracefully. Number 1. Keep your cool. One of the most important Stoic principles is maintaining control over your emotions, especially in the face of rejection. When a woman turns you down, it's natural to feel disappointed. However, how you respond to this rejection defines your character. Some men might react by becoming resentful, throwing insults, or acting rudely. This kind of behavior not only comes off as immature, but also awkward and unmanly. Remember, just because she declined doesn't make her a bad person. Sometimes things simply don't work out, and that's perfectly fine. Consider the Stoic teaching of Marcus Aurelius, who emphasized the importance of accepting things beyond our control. Instead of blaming the woman or taking it personally, recognize that her decision is a reflection of her own preferences and circumstances, not your worth as a person. This perspective can help you maintain your dignity and composure. For example, you ask a woman out, and she politely declines. Instead of reacting negatively, take a deep breath and respond with grace. You could say something like, I understand. Thank you for being honest with me. This response not only shows maturity, but also leaves a positive impression. Rejection is a part of life, and how you handle it can either build or break your character. By keeping your cool, you demonstrate strength, self-control, and a deep understanding of the Stoic philosophy. Instead of seeing rejection as a personal failure, view it as an opportunity to practice resilience and emotional intelligence. This approach will not only make you more attractive to others, but also foster a sense of inner peace and confidence. In essence, don't vilify her or retaliate with hurtful comments. It'll likely backfire and make things worse. Instead, embrace the stoic mindset. Focus on what you can control, your own actions and responses. This way, you'll navigate rejection with grace and turn a potentially negative experience into a testament of your strength and character. Number two, no response can be the best response. This is especially true when the rejection comes through casual means, like a text message, and you haven't spent much time together. In such cases, you don't owe a reply. She might not be expecting one, and if you're feeling particularly upset, it's perfectly okay to delete the message, block her if necessary, and move forward. Engaging further might only prolong the situation and lead to more unnecessary communication. If her rejection was disrespectful, she may not deserve a response at all. Imagine you receive a text from a woman you recently met saying she's not interested in seeing you again. It's a brief message, and you've only been on a couple of dates. According to Stoic principles, this is a perfect example of a situation where silence can be golden. The Stoics teach us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. You cannot control her decision 
or her feelings, but you can control your reaction. When you choose not to respond, you are practicing emotional resilience and self-control, core tenets of Stoicism. By not engaging, you are prioritizing your peace of mind. This doesn't mean you are avoiding the situation. Rather, you are choosing a path that aligns with your inner values and principles. Think about it. If you respond, what do you gain? Will a reply change her mind, or will it simply lead to more disappointment and hurt feelings? By staying silent, you are acknowledging her choice and respecting your own emotional boundaries. This is a powerful way to maintain your dignity and composure. Let's look at another example. Suppose her rejection was not only dismissive, but also disrespectful. Perhaps she made rude comments or insulted you. In this scenario, responding could escalate the situation and drag you into unnecessary conflict. The Stoics believed in maintaining tranquility and not allowing others to disturb our inner peace. By not responding, you are refusing to let her negativity affect you. In both examples, the key takeaway is that sometimes no response is indeed the best response. It allows you to stay true to your Stoic principles, preserve your self-respect, and focus on what truly matters, your own growth and well-being. So next time you face rejection, remember that you have the power to choose your reaction. Silence can be a powerful statement, reflecting your strength, self-control, and unwavering commitment to living a life of virtue. Embrace it and move forward with confidence. Number three, stay composed and detached. Rejection is an inevitable part of life and how you handle it can significantly shape your character. In the face of rejection, especially from women, try to separate your emotions from the situation. This might seem challenging, but it is a fundamental stoic practice that will help you manage the rejection more effectively. Think of it this way. When a woman rejects you, it's not a reflection of your worth as a person. It's simply an event an occurrence that you can choose to interpret and respond to in a calm and rational manner. Instead of allowing the sting of rejection to dictate your actions, step back and observe your feelings without letting them control you. This approach will prevent you from reacting impulsively or in a way that could be embarrassing. For example, you ask someone out and they decline your invitation your immediate reaction might be to feel hurt or defensive. However, instead of replying instantly or showing your disappointment, take a moment to process what happened. This pause is crucial. It gives you the time to let go of the initial hurt and approach the situation with a clear mind. Stoic philosopher Epictetus reminds us that we should not be disturbed by events themselves, but by our interpretations of them. By taking a step back and allowing yourself to feel the rejection without immediate reaction, you gain control over your response. This way, when you do respond, it's from a place of strength and composure rather than weakness and emotion. When you eventually respond, do so with grace and positivity. A simple, thank you for being honest, can be a powerful statement it shows that you respect her decision and are not letting it affect your self-worth. This not only leaves a good impression, but also reinforces your own resilience and confidence. By handling rejection in this manner, you not only uphold your dignity, but also demonstrate a level of emotional maturity that is attractive and admirable. Remember, every rejection is an opportunity to practice resilience and grow stronger. Embrace it as a lesson in your journey towards becoming a better, more stoic version of yourself. In summary, when faced with rejection, stay composed and detached. Separate your emotions from the situation. Take a moment to process what happened. Let go of the initial hurt 
and respond only when you're in a more positive frame of mind. This stoic approach will help you handle rejection with grace and turn a potentially negative experience into a powerful moment of personal growth. Number four, show appreciation for her time. The Stoics teach us to accept events calmly and to maintain our composure in the face of life's ups and downs. When a woman isn't interested in pursuing a relationship, a respectful and mature response is to thank her genuinely for the time you shared. You might say something like, I understand that everyone has their own preferences. I enjoyed our time together and appreciate it. This straightforward and genuine message acknowledges your interest without bitterness and leaves a positive impression. It's a way of showing that you respect her feelings and decisions, which is a core aspect of Stoic wisdom, respecting what is beyond our control. To give an example, suppose you went on a few dates with someone and you thought things were going well, but she decides not to continue seeing you. Instead of reacting with anger or disappointment, you send her a message expressing your gratitude for the time spent. By doing so, you demonstrate emotional maturity and self-control, two key stoic virtues. The benefits of this approach are multifaceted. First, it helps you maintain your dignity and self-respect. When you handle rejection with grace, you're showing that you value yourself enough not to let external events dictate your emotional state. This is a vital stoic lesson. Your worth isn't diminished by another person's opinion or choice. Second, it leaves a lasting positive impression on her. Even if she doesn't see a romantic future with you, she'll remember your considerate and kind response. This could open doors in unexpected ways. For instance, she might speak highly of you to her friends, one of whom could be a better match for you. Or you might encounter her again in a different context, and your previous gracious behavior could lead to a renewed connection. Third, practicing appreciation in the face of rejection builds resilience. The Stoics believe that adversity is an opportunity to strengthen our character. By choosing to respond with gratitude, you're training yourself to see the positive aspects of challenging situations. This shift in perspective can transform how you experience setbacks, making you more adaptable and optimistic in the long run. By showing appreciation, you're practicing the stoic principle of focusing on your actions and responses rather than external events. You're choosing to respond thoughtfully and graciously which can help you grow as a person and build better relationships in the future. Embracing a stoic mindset in these situations can help you navigate them with wisdom and poise. Number five, inquire about the reason for the rejection. When you face rejection, it's natural to feel a mix of emotions, but from a stoic perspective, Rejection is an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. One powerful way to transform this experience is to inquire about the reason for the rejection. This approach might seem unconventional, but asking for feedback can be immensely valuable. Imagine you've just been turned down by someone you were interested in. Instead of dwelling on the rejection or letting it bruise your ego, Consider politely asking her if she's willing to share why she decided against continuing things. You might say something like, I respect your decision, and I'm interested in understanding more. Could you share what influenced your choice? This kind of humility and openness can often encourage honesty. There's no guarantee you'll receive a candid response, but even the attempt to understand can be enlightening. For instance, she might mention that she felt you were too focused on your work. Or maybe she was looking for someone with different interests. These insights can be incredibly useful for your personal development and future relationships. Remember, Stoicism teaches us that external events, like rejection, are beyond our control. What we can control is how we respond. 
Embrace the feedback with the mindset of a Stoic, viewing it as a tool for self-improvement rather than a personal failure. Rejection doesn't always mean you did something wrong. Often, it's due to other factors like her personal circumstances or past relationships. Understanding this helps you maintain your inner peace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, often reflected on how external events are neutral and that our interpretation of them shapes our experience. By seeking feedback, you are actively engaging in a Stoic practice, using reason and reflection to grow stronger and wiser. Asking for the reason behind rejection not only provides potential insights for self-improvement, but also aligns with the Stoic virtue of wisdom. It encourages a thoughtful and calm approach to setbacks, helping you become more resilient and better prepared for future relationships. So, next time you face rejection, remember to approach it with a Stoic mindset, seeking to learn and grow from the experience. Number six, brace yourself for rejection. Rejection can catch us off guard, even when we least expect it. Even the most successful and confident men face rejection. Think of great leaders, entrepreneurs, and even ancient Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius. They all encountered rejection at some point. Understanding this can make it easier to handle rejection when it happens to you. Except that sometimes, for reasons beyond your control, you're simply not the right match for someone. This doesn't diminish your worth or value as an individual. It's not a reflection of your character or abilities, but rather an outcome influenced by factors outside of your control. For instance, you've been getting to know someone and feel a strong connection. You've shared meaningful conversations, laughed together, and everything seems to be going well. However, when you express your deeper interest, she turns you down. At this moment, instead of reacting with frustration, disappointment, or self-doubt, apply Stoic principles. Recognize that her decision is influenced by her own thoughts, feelings, and circumstances, which you cannot control. Responding to rejection with a Stoic mindset means you acknowledge the reality of the situation without letting it affect your inner peace. Say to yourself, I did my best, and her response is beyond my control. This doesn't mean you're indifferent or unfeeling, but rather that you understand the limits of your influence. You accept that her choice is her own, and it doesn't define your value. Embrace this perspective. Rejection is not a failure, but a natural part of the journey. Each rejection is a learning experience, an opportunity to grow stronger and more resilient. By viewing rejection through the lens of stoicism, you build a mindset that focuses on what you can control, your thoughts, actions, and responses, while letting go of what you cannot. This approach not only helps you maintain your self-esteem, but also prepares you to handle future rejections with grace and wisdom. Think of a great warrior who, despite losing a battle, doesn't lose heart. Instead, he learns from the experience, adapts his strategies, and continues to fight with renewed vigor. Similarly, when you face rejection, see it as a single battle in the larger war of life. Use it to refine your approach, build your resilience, and strengthen your character. So, the next time you face rejection, remember to brace yourself with stoic wisdom. Accept it gracefully, learn from the experience, and move forward with confidence and clarity. Your worth remains intact, and your journey continues, stronger and wiser than before. By embracing rejection as a part of life and responding with a stoic mindset, you pave the way for personal growth and enduring success in all your endeavors. Number seven, sever open lines of communication. In the face of rejection, it's crucial to practice emotional resilience. 
a key principle of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy teaches us to focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. When dealing with rejection from a woman, it's important to sever open lines of communication. You don't need to immediately block her on social media, as that might seem a bit extreme. Instead, consider removing her from your social media connections and avoiding further communication. This action aligns with the Stoic idea of maintaining inner peace by removing sources of potential distress. For instance, seeing her updates, especially if she appears with a new partner, might lead to unnecessary heartache and make you question what might have been. To a Stoic, such emotional turmoil is an external event outside our control. The goal is to minimize exposure to such triggers, to maintain emotional equilibrium. If she reaches out again in the future, assess the situation based on the reasons for the initial rejection before deciding if you should engage with her. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, advised that we should examine our impressions and not be led by them impulsively. This means taking a step back to evaluate whether reconnecting aligns with your principles and emotional well-being. If you both agree that remaining friends is best and there's no lingering emotional attachment, then staying connected might be fine. However, if staying in contact would hinder your healing process, it's better to cut ties and focus on your own well-being. Remember, the Stoics taught that true happiness comes from within and not from external validations or relationships. In summary, applying Stoic principles to handling rejection involves focusing on your response rather than the rejection itself. Severing open lines of communication is a practical step towards maintaining your emotional balance and moving forward with strength and resilience. Number eight, don't plead for a second chance. When someone rejects you, it's clear they've given it considerable thought. It's important to respect their decision and avoid begging for another chance. Feeling hurt is natural, and it's tempting to think you could have done things differently. However, maintain your composure and calmly acknowledge your disagreement before walking away. If she truly reassesses and wants to reconnect, your dignified response may increase the chances of her reconsidering. Desperation and pleading are generally unappealing and can push her further away. In Stoicism, we learn that our power lies in our response to events, not the events themselves. When a woman rejects you, it's an event outside your control. What is within your control is how you respond. Instead of pleading for a second chance, which shows desperation and a lack of self-respect, demonstrate the stoic principles of self-control and dignity. Imagine you've been seeing someone for a few months and suddenly she decides it's not working out. The initial reaction might be to ask for another chance, to explain why she should reconsider. But from a stoic perspective, this is the moment to pause and reflect. Understand that her decision is beyond your influence. What you can control is your own behavior and attitude. Instead of pleading, calmly acknowledge her decision with respect. You might say something like, I appreciate you being honest with me. While I don't agree, I respect your choice and wish you the best. This response is composed and mature, reflecting inner strength and self-respect. By doing this, you uphold your dignity and show that you are not dependent on her acceptance for your own sense of worth. By not pleading for a second chance, you convey confidence and self-respect. It's not about being indifferent. It's about recognizing that your worth is not determined by others' approval. If she truly reconsiders, your dignified response might make her think twice about her decision. But even if she doesn't, 
You have maintained your integrity and demonstrated the strength of character. Remember, Stoicism teaches us that our reactions define us. By handling rejection with grace, you show resilience and emotional maturity, qualities that are attractive and admirable. So the next time you face rejection, channel your inner Stoic, keep your composure, and walk away with your head held high. Number nine, avoid posting about it on social media. It's common for people to lash out online after a rejection, such as posting a photo from a date with a comment like, she's great, but we decided to just be friends. This kind of behavior can make you appear obsessive and emotionally unstable. Instead of airing your grievances publicly, keep your feelings private. Changing your relationship status or venting in comments only reflects poorly on you. Now, let's connect this to Stoicism and how it can help you handle rejection in a more positive and constructive way. The Stoics teach us the importance of self-control, resilience, and focusing on what we can control. When you face rejection, it's natural to feel hurt and disappointed, but it's crucial to respond rather than react impulsively. Imagine a Stoic philosopher like Marcus Aurelius or Seneca dealing with rejection. They wouldn't waste their energy on public displays of frustration. Instead, they would use this experience as an opportunity for introspection and personal growth. For example, let's say you were seeing someone you really liked and they decided to end things. Your initial reaction might be to post something on social media to make yourself feel better or to gain sympathy from others. However, this is just a temporary fix and does nothing to address the deeper feelings you're experiencing. Instead, take a step back and reflect on what happened. Ask yourself questions like, what did I learn from this relationship? And how can I improve for future relationships? By doing this, you shift your focus from external validation to internal growth. You become more resilient and better prepared for future challenges. Remember, Stoicism teaches us that we cannot control other people's actions or decisions, but we can control how we respond to them. Rejection is a part of life and how we handle it defines our character. Instead of letting it bring you down, use it as a stepping stone to become a better version of yourself. So next time you face rejection, resist the urge to post about it on social media. Keep your feelings private and use the experience as a learning opportunity. Reflect on what went wrong, understand your own needs better, and focus on finding someone who aligns more closely with your values and goals. By doing this, you'll not only handle rejection with grace, but also grow stronger and more self-aware in the process. Number 10, focus on self-improvement. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, use it as a catalyst for self-improvement. Ask yourself, how can I become a better version of myself? Not just in the realm of dating, but in all areas of life. Consider this example. You've been turned down after asking someone out. Instead of spiraling into self-doubt or resentment, take a moment to reflect on what you can improve. Maybe it's developing better communication skills, cultivating more confidence, or even improving your physical health. Start a new hobby you've always been interested in. Learn a new skill that could advance your career or dedicate time to mental well-being through meditation or therapy. Rejection can be a reminder to invest in yourself. It encourages you to build resilience and develop a mindset that looks for opportunities in every challenge. Remember, it's not about changing yourself to please others, but about becoming the best version of yourself for your own sake. This journey of self-improvement can lead to greater fulfillment and ultimately attract the right people into your life who appreciate and respect the person you've become. For instance, you're passionate about music but never had the time to learn an instrument. 
after facing rejection, you decide to invest your time in learning the guitar. This not only gives you a new skill, but also boosts your confidence and provides a creative outlet for your emotions. Or perhaps you've always wanted to get in better shape. Use this time to commit to a fitness routine, improving your physical health and mental well-being. Additionally, consider focusing on your professional development. Take courses to advance your career, read books that broaden your knowledge, or seek out mentors who can guide you. This not only makes you more attractive as a potential partner, but also enhances your overall life satisfaction. Embracing Stoicism means understanding that rejection is a part of life and does not define your worth. It's an opportunity to pause, reflect, and grow. By focusing on self-improvement, you demonstrate resilience and a commitment to becoming the best version of yourself. This mindset not only helps you move past rejection, but also prepares you to face future challenges with strength and grace. In the end, you'll find that the journey of self-improvement brings more satisfaction and fulfillment than you could have imagined, making you a more attractive and well-rounded individual. Number 11. Keep a positive outlook. Maintaining a positive attitude after rejection can be challenging, but it's crucial for your well-being. Remind yourself that rejection is simply feedback, not a reflection of your entire character. By adopting this stoic mindset, you can see rejection as an opportunity for growth rather than a setback. Approach future interactions with optimism and confidence. Just because one person didn't see your worth doesn't mean the next person won't. Each experience, whether successful or not, adds to your understanding and personal development. For example, if you were rejected because you didn't share the same interests, this might encourage you to find someone who appreciates your unique passions. Use rejection as an opportunity to reflect on your strengths and areas for improvement. Maybe the rejection highlighted something you can work on, like becoming a better listener or being more genuine in your interactions. By keeping a positive outlook, you remain resilient and open to new opportunities. This resilience is incredibly attractive because it shows that you're not easily shaken by life's challenges. It demonstrates inner strength and self-assuredness, qualities that are highly valued. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, think about what you learned from the experience. Did you approach the situation with authenticity and respect? If so, then there's nothing to regret. If not, Use this insight to improve your future interactions. Every rejection is a chance to refine your approach and become more aligned with your true self. Remember, every rejection is a step closer to finding the right person who appreciates you for who you are. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. So, use rejection as a tool to refine your approach and strengthen your character. Stay positive, and you'll find that the right person will come along, someone who sees and values the true you. Finally, always remember to practice self-compassion. It's okay to feel disappointed, but don't let rejection define your self-image. Take care of yourself, engage in activities that bring you joy, and surround yourself with supportive friends. By nurturing your well-being, you'll be better equipped to handle rejection with grace and move forward with confidence. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the stoic perspective on handling rejection from women. We've explored how embracing these ancient principles can transform your response to rejection helping you grow stronger and more resilient. It's not just about dealing with the discomfort, but about turning these moments into opportunities for personal growth and self-improvement. As we wrap up, remember that each rejection is a stepping stone to better understanding yourself and refining your approach to relationships. The Stoic Path teaches us that our true power lies in our reactions, not the events themselves. 
So let each experience enlighten and strengthen you. If you found value in this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into how Stoicism can improve your life. Don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or experiences related to rejection. We love hearing from you and learning how we can better serve our community. And if you're looking for more ways to apply Stoic wisdom in your daily life, check out our recommended videos on the screen now. They're packed with practical tips and strategies to help you maintain your composure, no matter what life throws your way. Thank you for watching. And remember, every challenge is an opportunity to manifest your strength. Stay wise and see you in the next video.